Welcome to the lecture series of functions of several variables. Today we are going to discuss about procedure to find maxima and minima of f of x comma y. For a given function how to find out maxima and minima that is what we are going to discuss today. The procedure is step 1 find the respective derivatives of the function f of x comma y such that dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y. Step 2 equate both the derivatives to 0 so that we can get stationary points that is dou f by dou x equal 0 and dou f by dou y equal 0 and find the solution let it be the solution be c comma d. Step 3 compute dou square f by dou x square dou square f by dou y square and dou square f by dou x dou y at the point c comma d. Step 4 let capital A is equal to dou square f by dou x square and b equal to dou square f by dou x dou y and c is equal to dou square f by dou y square. Step 5 find the values of ac minus b square then we can make the conclusion if ac minus b square is positive and a is negative then f of x comma y has maximum at c comma d. If ac minus b square is positive and a is also positive then f of x comma y has minimum at c comma d. If ac minus b square is negative then f of x comma y has neither maximum nor minimum such a point is called saddle point. If ac minus b square equal to 0 there is no need of further investigation. So this is what the procedure to find maximum or minimum for the given function. So what is the procedure says the step 1 is we are going to find the first derivative of given function partially with respect to x and y and the next step we are going to equate the partial derivatives to 0. When you are equating to 0 we can get some values that points are called stationary points. Here for example let the points be c comma d. Then the next step we are going to find the second derivative of the given function and then we are having the name for the second derivatives a, b, c. Then we are going to find the value for ac minus b square. According to the value of ac minus b square and capital A at the points we have the conclusion. The conclusion is ac minus b square value is positive and A is negative at the point we can say that the function has maximum at the point. So how to find out maximum value we can substitute the point in the function so that we can get the maximum value of the function. If AC minus B square is positive A is also positive we can say that the function has minimum at the point C comma D. To find the minimum value we can substitute the point in the function so that we can get the minimum value at the point. If AC minus B square is negative we can say that the points are called saddle point. If suppose it is equal to 0 there is no need of further procedure. Okay. So this is the way we are going to do the problem for finding maxima or minima for the given function. Look at the first question find the maximum and minimum values of the function x cube plus y square minus 3x. So the same question can be asked examine the extreme values of the function. Okay. So the same question can be asked examine the extreme values. So it is understood that extreme values means maximum and minimum values. Okay. So the same question can be asked like that also. So first we will take the given function as f of x comma y look at the solution let f of x comma y equal to given function x cube plus y square minus 3x. Okay. So what is our procedure? The procedure says first step we are going to find the partial derivative with respect to x and y. So dou f by dou x that means for the given function partial derivative with respect to x. So x cube differentiation is 3x square y is a constant so y square is 0 and here minus 3x is there so minus 3. Then say, dou f by dou y. Okay. So y square differentiation is 2y in this case derivative with respect to y treat the x as a constant so x cube is 0 minus 3x is also 0. What is our step 2? Step 2 is equate to 0 dou f by dou x equal to 0 and dou f by dou y equal to 0. So dou f by dou x equal to 0 implies 3x square minus 3 equal to 0 which implies 3x square equal to 3 which implies x square equal to 1 x is equal to plus or minus 1. Like this dou f by dou y equal to 0 implies 2y equal to 0 that is y equal to 0. 
So, what is our step 2? When you are equating to 0, we can get the points. Such a points are called stationary points. So, here what are the stationary points? Therefore, the stationary points are Therefore, the stationary points x is 1 corresponding y is 0 and another value of x is minus 1 comma 0. So, the stationary points 1 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 0. So, what is the step 4? Next we are going to find dou square f by dou x square, dou square f by dou x dou y and dou square f by dou y square. We will give the name for a, b, c the second derivatives. Okay. So, second derivatives dou square f by dou x square equal to dou square f by dou x square is nothing but dou by dou x of dou f by dou x that means 3 x square differentiation is 6 x and dou square f by dou y square that is 2 ok dou by dou y of 2 y that is a 2 and then dou square f by dou x dou y this is nothing but dou by dou x of dou f by dou y already we got this dou by dou x dou f by dou y is nothing but 2y ok here partial derivative with respect to x and here we are having only y term so obviously this value is 0 so now we are going to take the value as capital A equal to that is dou square f by dou x that is equal to 6x capital A is nothing but dou square f by dou x square that is 6x and b b equal to dou square f by dou x dou y that is 0 and the last one c is equal to dou square f by dou y square that is equal to 2 ok. So, we have completed up to step 4. Now, the last step that means we are going to find the value of a c minus b square at the point that is the stationary points so that we can get the conclusion ok. So, a c minus b square. So, now a c minus b square what is our a? a is 6 x and what is our c? c is 2 and b value is 0 ok. So, what is this? This is equal to 12 x. So, a c minus b square equal to 12 x. So, what is our procedure? The procedure says that find the value of a c minus b square at the point c comma d that means at the stationary points. What is the stationary point? First point will take 1 comma 0 ok. At 1 comma 0 at 1 comma 0 ok a c minus b square equal to 12 into x can be substituted as 1 and there is no y. So, we can get 12. So, a c minus b square is positive ok. Then what about a? a equal to 6 x ok. So, 6 into 1 we can get 6 that is also positive ok. So, what is the procedure says if a c minus b square is positive a is also positive that means what then f of x y has minimum at the point ok. So, according to the procedure f of x comma y has minimum at the point 1 comma 0 therefore f has f means the given function has minimum at 1 comma 0 is it clear a c minus b square is positive a is also positive therefore f has minimum at the point 1 comma 0. Now, how to find out the minimum value? The minimum value is the minimum value is the minimum value is we can substitute the value at 1 comma 0 x cube plus y square minus 3 x ok. So, x value is 1 and y value is 0 minus 3 into 1 ok. So, 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 therefore, the minimum value is minus 2 ok. What is the next stationary point? Next point is minus 1 comma 0 ok. At minus 1 comma 0 a c minus b square a c minus b square equal to 12 x. So, 12 into minus 1 that is minus 12 that means negative value and a is equal to 6 x 6 into minus 1 that is minus 6 ok. So, a a c minus b square is negative. So, a c minus b square is negative means such a point is called it as saddle point. So, a c minus b square is therefore 
AC minus B square is negative. Okay. Therefore, F has neither maximum nor minimum. Therefore, the point minus 1 comma 0 is called as called as saddle point. Okay, so this is the way we have to do the problem. In this question, we have only two stationary points that is 1 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 0. That is the reason why the problem is completed up to this. If suppose we have more points, we will continue the procedure. So, how to do the problems under the maximum and minimum? First, we are going to find the partial derivative with respect to x and y and then equate to 0, we can get the stationary points. After that, we are going to find the second derivatives, then find the value of AC minus B square and capital A value. According to the value, we have the conclusion. So, this is the way we have to do the problem. Finding stationary points itself a 2 mark question. Okay. Thank you for watching.